corporations, LLCs, limited partnerships, using legal entities can help you help protect you and help protect your business. I'm here today with Stephen Lafaso of Lafaso PLC, a local attorney and an expert on helping small business owners protect themselves and save themselves money using, using legal entities. Uh, welcome, Stephen. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, Lafaso PLC? Well, thank you very much, first of all, for having me, Jamie. I really appreciate the You're opportunity welcome. today. Um, mostly what we do at Lafaso PLC is we help small and medium-sized businesses grow. Okay, um, Really, we help them with their entity formations and the tax consequences of those entity okay. formations. And as they start to grow their business, um, there's always the ability to change structures and change uh, tax you know, uh, right. classifications, and so what we do is we sit down with individuals and business owners and do a strategic plan to help map out the best course for their business. Great. Okay, so let's start with, uh, you know, what are some of the reasons and, and the ways that, you know, why would a small, medium business want to incorporate or start an LLC? What are the benefits and, and the advantages of doing that for, for a business owner? Okay, well, basically for most business owners, let's just start off, number one, with just a single owner, okay, the, okay. the, the single individual. Under the law, if you start off a business, you are automatically classified as a sole proprietorship, okay? okay. Now, under a sole proprietorship from a legal uh, aspect, you are liable for all contracts and all wrongs that you commit as the owner of that business, and that's personal liability to you, which means that if for some reason a judgment was uh, if somebody got a judgment against you, they would be able to go after all your personal assets, your house, your car, your 401k account. Okay. Um, when you <coughs> incorporate, uh, whether it's a corporation or you organize an LLC um, or some other type of limited liability entity, what you do is you ensure that as a sole, as the sole owner, you are not liable for any contracts that you have with okay. other individuals. And so if somebody does get a judgment against you for a breach of contract, they would only be able to go after the assets of the business and not your personal assets, thereby protecting your, your home, your car, or whatever okay. other personal assets you may have. All right, so when you, and when you say a judgment against you, of course, that's, you know, like if you own a small retail shop or something, somebody trips and falls, you know, they could file a lawsuit against you for that, right? And so that's kind of what you mean as a judgment against right, you. Right, exactly. As as and also you see a lot more in business um, where somebody's been promised to perform, get a certain product to somebody on time, and they don't do <coughs> so, or somebody promises to pay and they don't do so, and then okay. uh, you end up having a judgment against you for either that failure to provide the product or failure to pay. Okay. And then the way the individual who has a judgment is made whole is by going and executing against your assets. Now what the incorporation or organization does is it basically cuts off all your personal assets from uh, judgment execution. Okay. So basically, I mean, when that comes down, if somebody sues you, if you're not incorporated or you don't have a legal entity, then, you know, it's not just a matter of your business assets. It's a matter of they could go after your house and your car and future earnings, even if you go get a job. Yes. So Correct. personally, you're liable and, and, you know, they can come after a lot of that, those things as well. That's, that's, that's absolutely correct. Okay. Great. And, and so that kind of is the personal liability aspect of it. And I know there's some tax advantages yeah, as well. Yeah, there are definitely some tax advantages as well. Um, as a sole uh, proprietor, you are taxed individually. And what that means is that um, all the income that you make flows through to your 1040, okay, through a Schedule C, basically. And I don't right. want to be too technical here, okay. But um, basically what that means is the IRS just basically taxes you as an individual, okay. Um, now, some of the advantages of incorporating is, uh, for number, let's just say number one, is that your the ability to reduce the taxes that you have to pay. For example, um, just a small independent uh, person who's a sole proprietorship has to pay what they call the self-employment tax or what we right. normally consider the payroll tax. If you're a corporation, uh, you only pay half of that as the corporation right. and then the employees pay the other half. Right. So it gives you a tax savings advantage by, in, by incorporating either a, a C corporation or an S corporation. By okay. Yeah, so, all right, so there's personal liability and then there's, uh, and then there's some tax savings. And the tax savings can be pretty significant. Yes. Right? I mean, my... Uh, I know my parents several years ago, uh, before they retired, they kind of started a small company doing insurance adjusting. And, you know, through that, the first year they were sole proprietors. Well, he made pretty good money and he had to pay the income tax, but he also had to go back and pay all the Social Security, all the Medicare, all that type of stuff because they didn't pull a salary, even the money they didn't spend. And, they, and so I had to, had to kind of explain that to him. The next year they formed an S corporation and, and were able to protect themselves and, and save a good bit of money on that good. 
So, Alyssa, any uh, questions from the audience here as we get started? My business is just me, part-time. Do I really need to incorporate? Oh, yeah, that's a, you know, I think people think of corporations. I mean, that's like, you know, big corporations, you know, right. big businesses, right? And I just started my business, whether it's, uh, you know, making crafts and selling the craft shows or anything like that. What, uh, you know, what about it? How complicated is it and, and why, you know, why should you if you're just that single well, person? Yeah, it's not really that complicated to either organize or incorporate, but however, it is really important to do so. Um, as we were just discussing, obviously, right. you open yourself up to, um, you know, unlimited liability of your personal assets if you don't incorporate or if you don't organize in any way whatsoever. And even though you may say, well, I'm only doing this part time or something right. to that effect, the fact of the matter is, is it only takes one incident, unfortunately, to really put yourself in jeopardy. And yeah. so for that reason, more than anything, even, um, you know, even if you're just doing something part time or it's just a, a kind of a side job that you're, you're starting off to see how, you know, it's going to do or how your business is going to do, it's very, very important to go ahead and and organize or incorporate for those liability purposes. Yeah, so in the liability, and then once again for the tax purposes and for as well. Tax purposes as well. Um, I know my, my wife, you know, just does uh, just piano lessons right. and just out of the house, you know, so not, not a lot of, I mean, and, you know, we're insured and there's some liability there, but, uh, but the aspects of what we're able to do from a tax benefits perspective is, uh, is pretty important and saves us a good bit of money. So, so I think, you know, I agree. Being a sole proprietor, most things you read and here is basically if you're a sole proprietor, uh, you need to get out of that and do something different. Do something different and, it, and it really isn't that complicated, right? I mean, it's, uh, you know, certainly uh, when you're doing it from a long-term uh, capability, you know, you go get an attorney right. and do that and do that right. And certainly you should, should uh, kind of talk about that um, because it does fit into that long-term planning for the business, right? Good. So, well, we're about out of time. Uh, I want to thank you for, for coming on and you know, really helping us kind of clear that up. And I know we just touched the tip of the iceberg that, you know, as you get complicated with more businesses and, and more people involved, that this can be a very uh, interesting <laughs> and complicated thing that requires assistance. But, you know, certainly thanks for coming on. And, uh, you know, as we go through uh, what we're about here at Be Better at Business TV, TV is really helping people to be better at business. And hopefully today in looking at how you organize legally, will help you do that, help you save money, and help protect yourself. So thanks for coming on. Yeah.